What's going on, Wally fam? Welcome back to another Warzone 2 video for you guys on the channel today. Listen, Warzone 2 Season 4 is out. I thought the best way to start off this season is to give you guys my top 5 best SMG loadouts in Warzone 2 Season 4. Before we get into today's class of the fifth, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on, make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger upload on the channel. We're on the grind to 10,000 subscribers, and I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. As always, guys, we go live on Twitch every single day. Wani FPS. Check us out there, man. We might be live right now smacking some kids, and you wouldn't even know because you're not there and you're not following. Hey, we're locking in at 200 followers over there. I really appreciate it, guys. Well, quick say, before we get into any of the class setups today, I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving the channel, man. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Let's go ahead and get into these class setups. I love y'all. Peace. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's go ahead and hop into my top five best SMGs in season four. Of Warzone 2, man. Quick and say, man, appreciate all the support you guys for giving me all the videos, man. I want y'all to be beaming on the freaking battlefield on the new map, Vundell. Yo, that map is gonna be crazy. Listen, let's go and hop into every class setup that we got. Starting off with class setup number one. All right, boys, starting off with class setup number one, we got the NP7, arguably one of the uh, probably one of the most midest SMGs in the game. It's very popular because guess what? Everybody loves the MP7, bro. This gun's been around for so long, man. It's, it's hard to not like the MP7. So let's go ahead and hop into this. Starting off with the first attachment, fam. We're going to be popping on this laser, this VLK LGR 7MW laser. It's going to be good for ADS times, sprint to fire time speeds, and aiming stability. Really all good. It's going to be helping you out with that SMG mobility movement. I know a lot of people say we don't got movement in this game. But trust me, with this attachment, you do. Alrighty, fam. Now for our next attachment, we're going to be popping off with this barrel with the freaking Skalager L2Z, L203 barrel, I don't know why it's an L2Z, but this is going to be helping out with that damage range and hit fire accuracy and bullet velocity. Now, the barrel in the SMG categories are really important because they help you out a lot. You're going to be beaming kids with this one. Alrighty fam, now for our third attachment, we're going to be popping on with this muzzle. See, I've been experimenting with this gun a lot for a while. I ended up going with this Bruin Pedulum. Pedulum, I like to call it, I like to call it. But this thing's amazing. It's going to help you out with the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil with this weapon. Alrighty, fam, now for our next attachment, we're going to go ahead and pop on for the magazine. I like to go with the 50 round mag. I like the 50 round mag over the 60. Uh, I feel like I got a little bit more movement speed with this one. Movement speed is so important in Warzone 2, um, especially when you're going after enemies and stuff. Especially with a SMG, you want to make sure you got extra ammo when you're going after four people in squads. Alrighty, fam, now for our last attachment for this MP7, before we start tuning this weapon, the last attachment we're going to be going on is the Demo RXT stock. Now, this is really good because it's going to help you out with that crouch movement speed, sprint to fire time speed, and AES speed. All very crucial when using this weapon. Alright, fam, now that we got all of our attachments, let's go ahead and hop into our tunings for all these freaking attachments. Alrighty, guys, we're going to be starting off with our VLK laser over here. Uh, for the tunings for this laser, you guys want to make sure you put your sprint to fire time speeds all the way down, and you're going to want to max out ADS speed completely. This laser is going to be helping you out with that ADS time and sprint to fire time speeds, and that has to be as fast as possible. Alrighty, fam, for our next attachment, we're going to be coming out with this Skalager barrel. For the recoil steadiness, make sure you put this up to a 0 0.40. And for the damage range, max out damage range completely. You want to max out damage range because guess what? That means your bullets are going to travel farther and not as short, you know, as you would expect. Alrighty, fam. Now, for our next attachment, we got the Bruin Padonium. Now, this is pretty much going to pretty much, you know, replace your underbarrel. But I actually like this better. I feel like I was able to control recoil a tad bit better with this than having a uh, underbarrel. So, for your uh, tunings for this one, guys, make sure you put your recoil stabilization to a 0 0.70 and then you want to max out gun kick control that's pretty much going to help you with the vertical recoil and it does help a lot with the gun like the mp7 Alrighty, fam now for our last attachment when it comes to this weapon we're going to be tuning is going to be the demo rxt stock you guys want to max out ads speeds and max out aim walking i'm sorry aiming idle stability now see the reason why you want to do that is because your um reticle will not sway left to right when you're aiming down sight Alrighty, fam, now this is my MP7 class, man. Give it a try in Warzone 2. Probably still one of the best ones right now. Let's go ahead and hop into loading number two. Alrighty, fam, hop into loading number two. We got the trustworthy MP5 in Warzone 2, man. This gun is insane, honestly. It doesn't fail. 
to freaking make me a happy gamer. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into this one, guys. Start off with our first statue. We're gonna be coming out with this laser with the VLK LZR 7MW laser. This honestly is really good, just like the MP7. When you're using SMGs, you wanna be fast and flashy, and this is gonna help you do that. Alrighty fam, now coming on with our next attachment, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we go ahead and put on this L38 Falcon 226mm barrel. This is gonna be really good because guess what, it helps out with movement speed and ADS time speed. And after tunings, we can actually customize this barrel to work for us instead of the cons being really bad for us. Alrighty fam, now for our next attachment, I wanna go ahead and go on with this stock. Now, for the stock, I, I've seen some people running the LM stockless mod. I'm not a fan of that. Um, it does mess up, like, you know, a lot of your things. So, it's best to go with the mirror recoil 56 factory stock. This is going to give you the best recoil control, sprint to fire time speeds, and aiming idle stability. Alrighty, fam. Now, for our next attachment for this MP5, we're going to be going out with this magazine with the 40 round mag. This is just good for having extra ammo when you're going after squads on a Sheikah or if you're going on Vundel, the new map. Alrighty, guys. Now, for our last attachment, this is where things kind of got interesting. I've been using a lot of different attachments for this weapon lately, and I found that the high Hollow point rounds are the best for season four. This is going to be good for crippling power, which means that every time you're shooting at somebody, it pretty much slows down their sprint time so they can't get away from you and pretty much makes them slower. All right, guys, now we got all of our attachments for this freaking MP5. Let's go ahead and hop into our tunings. All right, fam, start off with the first attachment. We're going to be going out with this VLK 7MW laser. Now, what you guys want to do with this one is max out sprint to fire time speeds and max out ADS time speeds completely. Now, coming for the barrel, you guys want to go in and make sure you put your recoil steadiness all the way up and max out damage range. The reason why is because this barrel is meant for movement. And if we can actually control that recoil, that means you're going to get better accurate shots. All right, guys, now coming on with our next attachment, we're going to be going on with this hollow point. Want to make sure we max out damage range and max out recoil steadiness completely. That's going to help with that freaking accuracy with this MP5 build. All right, guys, now for the last attachment that we do have to tune, it's going to be the Mirror Recoil 56 stock. We're going to go in and make sure we put our ADS speeds all the way up and our aiming idle stability all the way up. This gun's going to be a laser beam, and trust me, you will be able to go after squads, and it is a pretty fast weapon with little to no recoil, and you get the hollow point round, you know, ammunition that's going to help you out a lot. That's loading number two. Let's go ahead and load number three, fam. Coming in at loading number three, we got the Vaznev 9K. Listen, season four, the Vaznev 9K is taking over again, baby, because guess what? I found a new class setup for y'all. So, starting off with the first attachment for the barrel, we're going out the SA Response 3 barrel. I know people haven't run barrels on the Vaznev 9K in such a long time, but this is going to help you out with bullet velocity, recoil control, and that damage range. You're going to need this barrel for this weapon. Alrighty fam, now coming in with the next attachment, I want you guys to go ahead and follow that up with the Bruin Padalo. That's going to help you out with controlling that vertical recoil and horizontal recoil when using this weapon. Alrighty fam, now coming out with our next attachment, we're going to be coming out with this magazine for the 45 round mag. This is just going to be good just for getting that extra ammo and going after squads. Now, for the next attachment, we ended up going with the stock. Now, I like the Otrezat stock. That's going to be good for sprint to fire time speeds and aim walking speed. Now, for our last attachment here that we got with this Vazev 9K, it was a tough one, but I'll tell you right now, the ammunition rounds packed a punch and made this one worth it. So, the hollow point rounds are going to help you out with this weapon tremendously. All right, guys, now we got all of our attachments for our Vazev 9K. Let's go ahead and hop into our tunings. All right, guys, now starting off with the barrel, I want you guys to make sure that you literally put your recoil status up to a 0 0.40 and max out damage range completely. We're coming in with the Bruin Padolium. Make sure you guys go ahead and put your recoil stabilization to a 0 0.65 and max out gun kick control. Now, for the next attachment, which is your 9mm hollow point rounds, max out damage range completely and max out recoil steadiness. Now, coming in with our last attachment here, which is the Otrezat stock, make sure you max out aiming idle stability. I'm sorry, aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability was the last one. So, this is my Vaznev 9 kill build. Vaznev 9K build. 9 kill build. Man, I am on one today. Listen, guys, give it a try, man. Let's go to album loading number four. All right, guys, coming into loading number four, we have the Bass P, which was heavily buffed in season three and is actually getting some attention in season four. Now, this one's gonna be good. And guess what? You got good mobility. Let's go to hop into this one. 
All right, fam, starting off with the first attachment, you're going to want to make sure you go in and put on this VLK LZR 7MW laser. Now, for the barrel, make sure you go in and put on that 10.5 inch Bruin Typhoon barrel. For the uh, ammunition, and then you got magazines. So for the magazines, you want to put the 50 round mag on for this one because you're going to need a lot of ammo when using this weapon. Now, for the next attachment, fam, you're going to want to go ahead and go to your rare grip section and put on the Bruin flash grip. And for your stock, guys, make sure you go down and put the Bruin Flash V4 stock. All right, now that we got all of our attachments, let's go ahead and hop into our tunings for this weapon. All right, guys, now starting off with the VLK LZR 7W laser, make sure you go in and put the sprint to fire time speed all the way up and the aim down sight speed all the way up. Now, for your 10.5 inch Bruin Typhoon barrel, make sure you put your recoil steadiness to a 0.40 and max out damage range completely. All right, guys, now for your Bruin Flash Grip Rare Grip, recoil control all the way up to a 0.81, and sprint fire time speeds are all the way up. Now, for the last attachment being the Bruin Flash V4 stock, ADS speeds all the way up, and aim walking speeds all the way up. Guys, load number four is honestly a very crucial one, good with mobility and good for knocking out squads in close quarter combat. So let's go ahead and hop into our last Lodi, Lodi number five. All right, guys, coming out with load number five, we got this freaking MP, freaking PDW, SW, SMG in Warzone. Listen, this one is worth it. I love this SMG. I think it's fire. It packs a really good punch. All right, starting off with our first attachment, fam. Make sure you're going to put on that VLK laser. Now, for the next attachment, this one's kind of tough because, see, with the barrels, I wasn't able to run certain things, so I wasn't able to really run a barrel sometimes. But I like the FTAC series 14.5-inch uh, barrel. Now, for the rail fan, I like to go with the light rail for movement. And for the last two attachments for this weapon, I like to go with the Bruin Q900 grip. And I like to run this stock, which is going to help you with sprint to fire time speed. It's the CQB stock. All right, guys, now that I got all the attachments for this weapon, let's go ahead and hop to the tunings. All right, now we're going to be starting off with the VLK laser, where what I want to do with this one is increase sprint to fire time speeds and increase aim idle speeds. For the FTAC barrel fan, make sure you put that recoil status to a 0.40 and max out damage range completely. And fam, for the light rail, make sure you're going to put your recoil status up to a 0.40 and max out, actually max out recoil stabilization. And lastly, we have the Bruin Q900, max out ADS, max out sprint to fire time speeds. And for this last attachment, which is a CQB stock, max out aiming stability and ADS times. Guys, these are my top five best loadouts in Warzone 2 Season 4. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What's your favorite SMG to use in this season? And make sure you guys drop that like, man. I love y'all for all the support, man. I'll catch y'all later. If you want to see any of my class setups, man, or go follow the Twitch for always live there every single day. All class setups are going to be in the links in this description. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.